G'day folks, welcome to the Slot Me In Factory. Now today we're going to demonstrate as we set up and talk about some of the key features of a great new little product that we released earlier this week and that's the Wedge Fire Pit Habashi Grill Kit. It's our Aussie twist of the traditional Japanese Habashi Grill. Now as you can see, it comes in a neat little compact Aussie canvas storage bag. Very robust bag and it's satchel size. So it's about 40 centimetres wide. 35 centimetres deep and about five or six centimetres side on thick with all the accessories in the kit and the whole kit weighs less than six kilograms. So let's check out what's inside. A couple of tabs there to help you open up the bag. Very heavy duty Velcro that we're sewn into that bag. There's a pair of heavy duty leather safety heat resistant gloves there. Very handy around the fire so they come with the kit. We've got our shorter version of the grip and flip. So that's our tong and our spatula all in one, stainless steel, so you can uh, move your food around on the grill. You can even use the uh, tongs to move the charcoal in the uh, fire pit for repositioning if need be. We've also included in the kit four stainless steel skewers, as you can see here. So you can put your produce on and you can cook directly over the fire pit Without the grill, you can just rest these across the edge or you can use these on the grill depending on your style of cooking. So they come with the kit as well. And then inside the bag, we've got the rest of the gear. Put our bag aside. Now, as you can see, that's about, you know, just under three centimetres in height. So we've got our grill on the base, our under tray, which is water fillable. So you can use this Abasha grill directly on the table on grass. And then we've got our fire pit, which we're gonna set up and put in the under tray. So we'll just take the grill away from the fire pit in the under tray. I'll uh, quickly show you the grill there. So we've cut a neat little pattern in this grill. Now the grill's made from three millimeter thick, 304 grade food grade stainless steel. So it's a very compact, robust, and safe to use for cooking over the top of our fire pit. So the grill can be also used to support things like fry pans and billies, which I've got here. Um, I'll just go through some of the features of the fire pit and then I'll put the grill on and we'll explain that a little bit later. So I'll just put the grill aside. So I've got our under tray here, which is holding the fire pit. We'll just take the fire pit out. Now the under tray is made from aluminium, pressed aluminium. So you fill that under tray with water and then you put the fire pit inside the under tray and you can burn it directly on top of a table and also on a lawn, you won't damage the grass. And you can all sit around the table and uh, traditional Japanese hibashi style cooking sit all around the table and enjoy a nice little meal together with friends and family. So we'll set up the fire pit. Now the fire pit is uh, five pieces and it's made from the same stainless steel as the grill. So we've used food grade stainless steel for the fire pit. It's three millimeters thick as well. So it's 304 food grade stainless steel for the fire pit as well. And uh, there's four main sizes or four main parts, I should say, to the fire pit. So we've got two sides that are identical you can see the nice little aeration slots in there and that's allowing the fire when we get it going to aerate and get enough oxygen and keep burning so we'll just put those aside and then we've got the two shorter ends so we take a short end and we take a side and we simply just slot the two slots together opposing each other then we'll just take another end and slide that in like such at this stage, we can slide the V-bar in underneath. I can also do it at the end as well. So I'll do it at the end. So we're just taking another side and we're just gonna simply swap that other side in. And then the V-bar goes in underneath. And that, what that does, like our wedge fire pits, is when, when you've got a lot of heat in there and it wants to push away, the V-bar will stop those two plates from spreading. So there we have our neat little slot in Habashi fire pit. We'll sit that in top of the water tray, and as you can see, it's a very loose fit, so they won't bind. They'll slip in together. So there we've got our fire pit set up. Now, an abashi grill uses charcoal and small pieces of wood, so that's the traditional way of cooking. So put your charcoal in there, a little bit of firewood, you know, a little bit of paper, a few leaves, get that going you want to get your coals nice and red hot to cook on and then if you're using skewers of course you can just take a skewer and you can put those skewers once the coals have died down there and you've got a lot of heat and you can cook directly over the fire pit like such 
All you can do, of course, side on. And cook away to your heart's content. Then we also have the grill, which sits neatly over the top. Now that grill, as you can see, is going to let a lot of heat out. So you can sizzle a really nice steak on there. If you want to have some cookware on there, so I've got my solid Technics Noni 17 centimetre skillet here. So I can be frying some eggs. There's plenty of room to fry some eggs up there and have a nice steak down there. So this is just not a little Mabashi grill, of course. You can take it away camping and use it as a little fire pit and cooker. But uh, primarily a Nabashi grill style cooker from Slot Me In. That's what we designed it to do. And uh, it's made from, as I said, three millimeter thick, 304 third grade stainless steel. And the tray, of course, you fill with water. Of course, you can put a billy on there as well and boil a billy. So that's the wedge fire pit Habashi grill kit from Slot Me In. It's a very compact, neat little fire pit and cooker. And as I said, it's just our Aussie twist of a Japanese Habashi grill in a wedge style fire pit. So there you go, folks. Thanks for viewing. Cheers. Bye some Oz.